Hi, my name's Fred, and I'm at the Wall and Paul Pug Brewery in Hawley, PA, and this is Beer 101, the basics of beer. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe on the link below, and share on all your social media platforms. At the end of this video, please look for all of our other bar and restaurant related videos. Thanks for watching. Okay, let's get started with the different types of breweries. First, we have a microbrewery. A microbrewery produces up to 15,000 barrels of beer a year. Then we have a craft brewery. A craft brewery produces 15,001 to up to 6 million barrels of beer a year. And one of the stipulations is it must have an all malt flagship, or at least 50% of its volume must be an all malt flagship. Another stipulation is that 25% of it must not be owned, or it cannot be owned by more than 25% of a larger brewing company like Miller Coors or Anheuser Busch. And the last of the breweries we have are the macro breweries. That's Miller Coors and Anheuser Busch, and they brew hundreds of millions of barrels of beer a year. Try saying that fast. I practiced. Okay, moving on. Beer is only made with four basic ingredients grain, which barley is preferred, water, hops, and good old yeast, which brings us to our next segment. Now, for starters, there are a hundred styles of beers, but there are really only two types of beers lagers and ales. What's the difference between a lager and ale? Well, the basic difference between the two major beer classifications is how they are fermented. Ales are fermented with top fermenting yeast at warmer temperatures, usually 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, while lagers are fermented with bottom fermenting yeast at colder temperatures, usually 35 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Because of their warm fermentations, ales can generally ferment and age in relatively short periods of time. On the other hand, lagers take much longer to ferment uh, because they are cold fermented. So the bottom line when it comes to beer is it's either an ale or a lager. This is not determined by color, flavor, or alcohol strength, but by the fermentation technique and the yeast, you'd, yeast used in brewing. While taste does not necessarily determine the style, there are some general distinctions. Lagers tend to have a crisper, cleaner taste, although other ingredients such as malts and hops can add flavor. Ales tend to be more full-bodied, sweeter, and have a fruitier taste. This has to do with the fermentation process. The faster, more aggressive fermentation of ales produces esters, which cause the taste of sweetness. Now let's talk about beer measurements. Let's start with IBUs. IBUs is International Bitterness Units. IBUs measure the amount of bittering compounds in the beer. The higher the IBUs are in any given beer, the more bitter it will taste when you sip. Bitterness is balanced by malt. Lighter beers, less malt, will require less bitterness to balance. Most light beers have an IBU under 10, while IPAs have an IBU of 50 to 100. Next is ABV or alcohol. Alcohol is measured by volume or by weight. If measuring by volume, the alcohol is a percentage of the space it occupies. As an example, 5% ABV beer means that 5% of the volume of space in that liquid is alcohol. And the last beer measurement we have is the standard reference method or SRM. SRM is the measurement of color of the beer. Degrees of SRM are achieved by shining a blue light through a sample beer and measuring the light absorbed with a spectrophotometer. The SRM scale starts at 2 for a Pilsner or a Pale Lager, and that would be a pale straw color, and goes all the way through to black or 40 plus for an Imperial Stout. Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe on the link below, and share on all your social media platforms. At the end of this video, which is right now, please look for all of our other bar and restaurant related videos. Thanks for watching.